Hi, this is Giulio Toffoli. Welcome to our podcast number 3. In the podcast of today, we will see how to compile and build our from sources. Even if this can be done using any Java IDE or simply the command line, we will use NetBeans IDE, which is by the way my favorite IDE. To compile our report, we need three things. The airport sources, the NetBeans platform version 601, and NetBeans IDE. Any version, it doesn't matter, we will use the version 651, which is the latest stable version. So let's grab all these pieces. The airport sources are available as a special distribution of airport. It's the distribution that ends by SRC. The airport 352 source distribution does not ship the code of two modules required to successfully build the whole application. This will be fixed, but in general the best option is to get always the latest sources from the airport source repository on jasperforge.org. In order to download the sources, just type in a shell or a command prompt svn checkout http slash slash jasperforge.org slash svn slash repos slash airport for netbeans slash trunk. If you don't like to use the command line client for subversion, there are several visual clients. My favorite is Tortoise SVN. The URL to check out the source code is always the same. Now it's time to get the NetBeans platform. Our report is built on top of the NetBeans platform 601, which is not a development environment, but what today is commonly called a rich client platform. In other words, a kind of framework to build desktop applications. So we needed to get this piece of software. It can be downloaded from the NetBeans site at http downloadsnetbeansorg slash netbeans slash 6.0 slash final slash zip. The file to download is the one ending by ml.zip. It's more or less 160 megabytes, so it can take a little bit to download. When you have finished to download everything, unzip the platform archive somewhere. If you have not already done, install NetBeans IDE and run it. As we said, our report is based on the NetBeans platform 601 and we needed to configure NetBeans IDE to use it. Select the menu Tools NetBeans Platforms. Click Add Platform and select the directory that contains the NetBeans platform we have downloaded and extracted. Keep the proposed platform name and click Finish. The new platform is added to the platforms list. Now we are ready to open the Aeroport project. Select File Open Project and select the airport project, which is the main directory for the sources package for the airport directory inside trunk if you check out the sources from the subversion repository. Finally, click the run button, the one representing an arrow in the toolbar. This will build the whole project and run airport. You will find more information about our report in the our report ultimate guide available on www.jaspersoft.com. Thanks for listening. See you the next time on our report podcast. <laughs>